We, we don't have to fear that Satan is ultimately going to win. Now, I, I'm going to tell you, I, I get folks saying, well, pastor, well, what's the, what's the prophetic implication of all this going on? I don't know. And you don't either. And there's not a doctor high voltage in some seminary somewhere with some great anointing prophetically that knows it either. We don't know where in the scheme of things we are in the prophetic line toward the return of Jesus Christ to this earth. But here's what I'm telling you. The Lord has not given us a spirit of fear. Sometimes we can study prophecy. Sometimes we can try to put everything down into a formula. And it leaves the church crippled because we're scared to death of what may be coming next. That's not the spirit of the Lord. Satan can use scripture. Satan knows the Bible better than we could ever quote it. He was around from the, from the writing of it even to this day. And if he can get you crippled, if he can get you worried, if he can get you shut down by quoting scripture to you, you bet he'll use it. But here's the truth. The fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit of Jesus, no matter when it is, no matter what season in the culture or the life or the history of the church, here's the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. Let me tell you something. If you are discouraged and you can't get around your brothers and sisters in Jesus, I know this is going to sound absolutely crazy, but I have, I'm a testimony to it. If you need a little encouragement in your life, get in your car or get on your sidewalk and walk to your nearest H-E-B. Hello. I never have in my life seen so much encouragement and kindness. They'll wipe the rail of your shopping cart loose, and they'll make sure you don't have any germs I have to worry about. But they're smiling. They're, they're nice to you. That they're not, you're not in trouble for being in the store. I'm telling you, it's the beatness thing. I think to myself, I say, well, Lord, why, why does HEB and their employees and their culture seem to have so much more of the attitude of joy and positive and optimism and a future and a hope than some folks you hear in the church? Scared spitless. Not, not, not wanting to move. Or work. How are we going to make it through? Listen, listen. Jesus came for the purpose. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm, I'm on you now. <laughs> Jesus came for the purpose of setting you free from the fear of death. If you die, it's just better. 